The Confession Mona missed her husband being at home for a long time, which made her feel insecure about herself and left out of her husband's life. She was pulled into a wave of questions like, Am I not beautiful? Does he like another girl at work because I can't give birth? She remained stuck with these questions for days until she decided to create a Facebook account to keep herself busy from being depressed. One day, she got to know a guy through Facebook who listened to all of her problems and made her feel better about herself. It evolved to the level of realization that she thought he was the one she's been looking for all her life. She sent him a lot of pictures of herself and agreed on meeting him at one of the restaurants. The guy videotaped their meeting without her consent, photoshopped multiple of her photos on some inappropriate ones, and then he threatened her to send all of that to her husband if she didn't go back to his place with him. She didn't know what to do, so she asked for advice from a Twitter account, but smoothly the guy using that account asked her out like a snake. She didn't reply to him, then she went to her friend's husband for a piece of advice, even though he was like a wolf waiting for the prey to fall in his hands. She was stuck between a double-edged sword, as they both threatened her as well to sleep with them or be exposed in front of her husband. After a lot of crying and depression pills to take, she thought that she would tell the husband and whatever came next wouldn't matter. But her husband divorced her on the spot, without listening to any of her reasons, even though his ignoring her existence was one of them. She ended up texting the guy who blackmailed her with her photos and told him that her husband had divorced her, following with the request of marrying her, but then he said, You would never be a good life partner to me, nor a good mother to my children. And then he blocked her account and disappeared from her life. وَأَنَّ إِلَى رَبِّكَ الْمُنْتَهَى وَأَنَّهُ هُوَ أَضْحَكَ وَأَبْكَى وَأَنَّهُ هُوَ أَمَاتَ وَأَحْيَى وَأَنَّهُ خَلَقَ الزَّوْجَيْنِ الذَّكَرَ وَالْأُنْثَى مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ إِذَا تُمْنَى وَأَنَّ عَلَيْهِ النَّشْأَةَ الْأُخْرَى